Hey guys, so we're soldering today. We're soldering these guys right here. Okay, charger port. I always mark a little red side there. Yeah, don't forget to put your heat shrink on. You gotta put the heat shrink on. I forgot this one, but it's okay, I'll redo it. Okay, so you put it, I put mine in my panel. So when I drill the hole, you see this part here? These will slip through the hole, right? So when you take your panel off, you can disconnect the wires from your battery in case you ever have to remove your battery later. See, like that there, right? So then when you put your panel off, you can just quick disconnect from your 12 volt supply and your battery location on your bike. Okay, and then on the back, I use hot glue. And what I'll do is I'll just hot glue it in place later on. If you want to take it out, you can just use a torch lighter, heat it up and it'll come out. I also use E6000 glue. On a lot of my builds, it prevents vibrations. The solder that I'm using is just a basic welder. I'm a welder. I really don't do much soldering, so I don't have anything fancy. The uh, solder flux, it has the flux in it. It's 60, 40, and it's, um, it's 0.8 millimeter. That's what I like. I don't know what you like. Um, uh, tip tinner. This uh, keeps your solder tip hot because you notice if it gets turns a dark color it won't solder anything so let's get started real quick we're going to be making this piece right here the whole point to having this connector is this is for my uh the battery when you put the battery inside the bike and you want to take the panel off it's just a quick disconnect right so this will be for my 12 volt supply which gets a uh full power which this will be um 84 volts and 72 volts fully charged. This is the negative. I connect that to everything. Um, it goes into my battery because this goes to my battery. And this obviously is for the charger. I just like this system because it, it comes in handy if you ever got to take your battery out or just remove your panel. It's just nice and clean. Saves a lot of time and trouble. So let's see. So we've got our XT60s, right? Um, I just put a little red dot on the one side. It has a mark for plus and uh, negative. Negative is always the the, the uh, part that looks like a triangle. Okay, so let's get started. Right, quick. Get that out of the way. All right. This is one of my favorite little splicers. It's a channel lock, super high quality. Splice the wires. Okay. So you'll splice them the correct length. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start with this one here. Um, on the charger port on my chargers. I always make it, it'll, it, it says a number one on this side, but if you're facing it, the right side on my chargers is always positive. And when I'm working from the back, I always put a little red mark there. We'll do this real quick. We're real slow, however you wanna do it, take your time. Just make it nice and clean. I don't have any music playing. I know you guys like to hear what I'm saying. And I don't want YouTube to give me a copyright strike music playing in the background. But they'll do that to you, right? They don't care. So you just want to get that nice and hot. And I like to just get it to where you, you want to get the solder in nice and then you, know, you just hold it in place it might get hot might burn your hand who knows but i'll tell you what though once that cools off a little you want to solder you just want to solder to flow around a little bit on each side so the wire doesn't pull out later so i'm gonna do that real quick here sorry about the camera angle that's the best i can do right now Let's see. So I'll just I want to make put enough solder on there so it flows nice. It's better if it wraps around a little bit too. I don't know if you can see that. Just if, you, if you could wrap around a tiny bit, that'll definitely hold it in place. I filled the hole up nice. 
Okay. Let's do this one right now. I'll do a bunch of these. I got a bunch of for the future builds I have going on. It'd be nice to have a nice little collection of these so I can just grab and go, right? So as soon as I get up to the point to where I'm doing my panels, I can just have these ready to go. So I'll do as many as I can. It's nice to have some nice uh, stockpile of parts. So when you're building, one less thing you, you gotta do is pull out your solder set up, right? Mm, come on. Let's make sure it gets in there nice because last thing you want to do is spend all this time put your bike together then have your solder joint pull out that's a bummer okay i just made sure there's enough on there so it wraps around now i'm going to show you something that when you're doing a soldering when you're doing a soldering, the pins get really hot. So I'll give it a chance to cool off. See, I put this in, this is just a dummy side. So the inside, these pins, cause they're gonna get hot. And then when it cools off, I just wanna make sure that these pins stay straight. It, cause if you don't put this pin in, if you don't put this in, these can actually get so hot and you might get cocked a little bit. And that won't be good for later on down the road, right? All right, so we did that one there. Now, we're going to do the XT60 now, right? And this will be the battery side, okay? And then this will be the charger side. I've put a little red dot just so I don't get messed up here. Because now I'm making the video, I'll be distracted. So, um, so as you see on this piece here, on this piece here, uh, I just like to borrow from the charger side. Um, for my 12 volt supply, if you're using a two wire. Okay. So we'll make sure we put the cap. Don't forget your cap. Let me splice these real quick. Wow, it's gonna be a long video, over five minutes. Thank you for your patience. I hope you're all learning something. I hope you're all having really um, Good time learning. It's the best thing to do about working on bikes. The learning process is just amazing. Plus, if, if you ever need something done, you can just do it yourself. You don't have to wait for someone, right? I mean, it's nice to pay someone to do it, but sometimes guys get busy and you might want to do it yourself just to speed things up a little bit. I know nobody likes not having their bike running. It's got to be like the worst feeling in the world, especially if you know how to do something yourself, then you're not so reliant on other people and waiting for their time, you know? So it's Always nice to buy something that's already assembled or where if you need a quick repair, you can do it yourself. Sometimes traveling, if you got to drive somewhere, the amount of gas and waiting and all that stuff. So, but if you do just want to pay someone, you know, bike mechanic, that's great too, because you're helping the economy, right? You go to work, make your money and give them a little bit of money for their time. And that's what keeps the economy strong. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I flood this nice in the hole. All right, that's not. All right, so just because I'm in a hurry, I'm not gonna put the tip tinner on. Gonna... This is what I do. I don't want the video to be much longer than it has to be. I got brand new tips and all that. I know that what I just did was kill on my tip, but a little bit impatient right now. I got the video going. So this is obviously taking longer than it normally would if I wasn't videoing. But I want to share this information with everybody. I don't know if it's been a while since I did a video of soldering. Some of you may like my soldering techniques. And some of you, you know, might not leave good comments in a box below. But that's just how I do it. You know, I've had really good luck with it. All my parts, they work. Like I said, if I, if I need to put my battery, take my battery in or out, I can, pull my, I can do everything with the quick disconnects. So for me, that, that's a plus, right? So, all right. So you see that I filled it up nicely. And you see it wrapped around. Not too much, I could still get that piece over it. You don't have to do the small wire, but that's my preference, right? Again, I kept this on, see? Boop. See what that does? So let's put that one on now. 
Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. I like having music in the background, but uh, we're not. We don't have no music today. We don't have any music, so YouTube can't copyright me. Copyright strike, right? That's how you. They don't let your videos. They don't want people to see them, especially when you're talking about battery safety and things like that. Right now, with all the hype going around about battery safety and nobody knows what you're talking about i try to do videos about battery safety and youtube just censors them they don't want nobody to know what i know about battery safety so here we'll just do some soldering today this will come up when you search for it i know they're not going to promote me because i don't think i have that relationship with youtube these days so when you Google how to solder XT60. So hopefully this will come up. I hope you like my technique. I hope I helped you out a little bit here. Hope I give you some new ideas for your battery panels and your charger ports to make everything easier. Like I said, the white connector is good for your power supply. If you're using a kind that has a switch that you can manually switch. There's also different types of power supplies that, that literally work off your key and hook up directly up to your battery. I got one of them. They're a little bit bigger. They're nice to have, but hey, you know what? Whatever you decide to use, it's up to you. Always be comfortable with the parts that you're working with. So I believe that'll hold. I'm gonna put a little bit more solder just on that, just so I can wrap it around a tiny bit because a year or two years from now, I'm gonna have to deal, worry about it, right? I wrap that around nice. Get it nice and flat. So I'm gonna put the black cap over, it fits. I don't know if you see what I just did there. I just, I wrapped this solder around slightly. This is burning hot. I can't pull this pin out until these cool, because these pins will, um, see the pins, they have to stay lined up. And when they're really hot, if you don't have a cap on it, you know, when, when they cool off, it'll be crooked. So you just put the cap on there. All right, so then we'll just push this down here. Sometimes I got these big pliers, but look, I got lucky that one clicked right on. Okay, and here's what we're gonna do. Now I got the spade connectors. This, these are the ones I'm using. I think they're six millimeter spade connectors. But um, you see on this side, this will be the, um, I use this for my battery side. I always put my red near the clips or if there's a line. Okay. And um, all right, let's see. Oh, you know what I want to say? Don't forget to put on your, your heat shrink. See, I, I always put a little piece of heat shrink on. You have to put that on a wire first. I, I forgot to do it on this one, but that's okay. I'll, I'll redo it. So let's show you the, the white connectors real quick. Okay, just clip that. Clip that. Now what you, you want to do is... Okay, I fold mine over like that. Fold it over, okay? Then you get your crimp. Here's how I load mine. See it? Now the flat top part where the wire is folded over, I put it in like this here. Crimp it. Make sure it's crimped. You might want to practice if, you're, if it's your first time to practice. Not a big deal. Do a few practice runs before you do your final result there. All right. Get to learn your tools. All right, so I'll put this in here. Clip, Went right in, no problem. Oop, right in. Okay, and there we go. So, there we have the wires, All right? They're always the same every time. I do them the same every time. Make sure the red's on the red side, black's on the black side. 
XT60s, 12 volt power supply. And it just makes it easy. Like I said, when you pull your panel off, zombie slayer. When you pull your panel off, you just have quick disconnects when you've got to move your battery around. So, all right, guys, enjoy your builds.